we're, we're day 40 of the eight-year-old brain leap. And yes, I have done the research on the word. I'm not going to try to pronounce because I'm really bad at that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what it is. It's like basically puberty pre, okay? It's, it's opening up the adrenal glands and getting your body, the kid's body prepared for puberty. It's none of the uh, hormones that are for puberty, but it still has this beautiful effect on <laughs> person of heightening their emotions. So they're already going through this brain leap of trying to help them with cognitive flexibility, which creates irritability and frustration. And then it adds the adrenals freaking out and causes, you know, possible issues with sleep and all of that. I have notes here. Yeah, it's a prefrontal cortex, executive function, impulse control planning. It helps with the amygdala, which emotional processing and fear and social silence. Uh, hippocampus, which is memory and learning and helps with the hypothalamus, which is regulation of mood and appetite. What does this mean? Okay. What this means is that your seven-year-old is both going through a brain leap of their brain expanding and also their body is reacting and preparing for what is about to come with all the puberty and the feelings that are apparently not already here, right? This thing right here is your body preparing itself for the future, which increases its ability to have flexible thinking, which is fantastic. We want them to think flexibly. But with that can come, you know, brain fog and frustration at their brain fog and desire to be independent, but also still not having full of the skills for them to be able to do so. They have increased feelings, but it isn't until like 9, 10 that they get like the, the leveling up with the emotions. Right now it's the leveling up with like flexibility and thought process and getting sarcasm, things like that, right, okay? And that's what's going on. But then on top of the brain leap, this exists, the joy.